I'm sure that many of you will know how incredibly organized Julia is and has a spreadsheet for almost anything you could possibly imagine. I have to say, I was very impressed with this spreadsheet that I was, I'm struggling to hold because it's so heavy. Um, <laughs> that you prepared. My particular favorite part of it was at 12 o'clock, I believe, today. It'd take me a while to find it, I'll have to flip through. But that was the, uh, the bit that was a lot the time allotted for Guy's reaction to the, to the dress. <laughs> 14 minutes, I think it said. <laughs> it was the first day of uni and all the students were stood around, signing up to their subjects full of smiles and the odd frown, finding out about each other's, other's interests as well as the latest bands in town, when all of a sudden the hall went dark and the lights, they went down. <laughs> Not because of a power cut or any protest or ban, but because of this looming huge frame of a man Taller than any before him, the crowd open-mouthed and aghast, overshadowed by this long beast, like a medieval giant of the past. He introduced himself as Graham, a resident of the Isle of Man. He liked indie punk and rock music, and was a big Liverpool fan. I asked did he like the bikes and pistons and the Desmo cam. He replied yes, and that was it. My first love, it was a man. <laughs> It is part of a father's job description to embarrass his children as much as he can. But you don't have to worry, Drew. I have nothing embarrassing to say. What I do want to say is, you're a wonderful daughter in every possible way. From the moment you were born, you have brought nothing but joy and happiness into our lives. We are so proud of you and all of your achievements. To stand here today, seeing you look so beautiful and so content, Married to the man that you love is everything that we, as parents, could ever ask for. Graham grew older and started to grow up, and it's about this time when the lovely Julia showed up. Our Julia, the twinkle in his eye. And when I was finally introduced to her, for I could definitely see why. <laughs> But alas, it was her sense of humour that Graham did fall for, and definitely not the fact that she was anything but poor. <laughs> so that's the story of how we all met, Graham, Julia and I. I've bored you all for long enough, so it's time for me to say goodbye. But one last thing before I stop, I really have to say, Julia, you look amazing, and Graham, you look okay. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough to witness his heroics on the night that he met Julia. Um, he was on fire that night, actually, wasn't he? He was strutting around like a peacock, puffing his, <laughs> puffing his chest out, making himself look tall. He was <laughs> swinging around grandmas on the dance floor. He was, he was all the moves throughout that night. <laughs> Yeah, me and you met four and a half years ago at our friends' weddings. Uh, I never thank Holly for anything, but I will do on this one occasion. Thank you for introducing me to, to Julia. It's 
the best thing you've ever done. Sorry, sorry, Johnny. Sorry. <laughs> but I, yeah, I'm not very good at speaking or telling stories, so I kind of want to get this over with. Yeah, I, I literally I don't know what to say. I'm just so happy at the moment. This 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 day, it's been amazing.